Hi everyone, welcome to Cook Vegan. And today we have a wonderful interview with a lady all the way from Australia. So we feel very honored. Um, I've just found out British, but living in Australia, who is the lady behind Accidentally Vegan Australia Instagram account with no less than 24,000 followers. So an amazing <laughs> achievement there. My name is Jessica Reed, and um, I'm going to pass you over to her to tell us a little bit about why she created this Instagram account, what it's all about, and how it's taken off. Hi, Jessica. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Hi, yeah. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> so, yeah, I just sort of um, moved over to Australia about six years ago from the UK, and when I was living in the UK, there was just loads and loads of vegan options everywhere. But um, yeah, as soon as I came over to Australia, I started finding it hard to find any vegan food. <laughs> and oh, then really? I, I, yeah, and then I remembered Accidentally Vegan UK, the Instagram account, and I thought, oh, there's nothing like that here. So I just thought I'd start it up and yeah, and gradually really over time. Popular. Yeah, it's just become a lot more popular. And yeah, there's becoming loads more vegan options in Australia now. Over the last year, it's probably just exploded here. So it's good. Because I would have thought in Australia there'd be a lot of vegan options. Uh, yeah, not really. The last year definitely is when it's increased, but yeah, not really. It sort of depends what area you're in, I think, like Melbourne mm -hmm. and things like that. I'm not far from Melbourne, so there's okay. a lot of options around here, but especially in the country and things like that, there's a lot of meat and dairy and things. <laughs> and so where do you get your inspiration from? Do people message you? Do you actively look for the options? Do you, yeah, what, sort how of, do you do your posts? Yeah, a mix of everything really. Like I started off just myself looking through and taking photos and stuff, but as it's become more popular, I get messages like most days of people sending me and things that they found. And then I'll just sort of contact the company and double check all the ingredients, make sure there's no thickeners or flavors yeah. or something that contain honey yeah, or any or type yeah. of things yeah <laughs> and then yeah and then I just post it so it's good Amazing. to get help from other people <laughs> I wouldn't be able to give up with it otherwise <laughs> and so I have to ask what is the most surprising find like what is the thing that you posted oh, and so, I would never have thought that would be vegan or that could be vegan oh yeah that's a hard one I think sort of worldwide some of the big ones are probably Oreos, that and Oreos. I was going to say, Oreos is the obvious yeah. one. Oreos are the ones yeah. that people cannot believe, especially because exactly. of the human centre. Guys, if you're watching this and you didn't already know, Oreos <laughs> yeah. are vegan. Not, not the milk coated or white coated ones, the, no. the standard Oreo biscuits, either the minis or the normal, vegan. Who yeah. would have thought with the creamy centre? Exactly, yeah. Milk, so many so. things, quite yeah. surprisingly vegan. <laughs> But, but what else something else that's not i think a lot of us oh know gosh already. it's just like over here in australia certain like chocolate biscuits might be vegan or just things you really don't expect like a, a cheesy product that just happens to use a flavor in that's not actually the dairy itself or yeah there's loads of different things but then I obviously one, um, i got an email well. once with um or i found a list with candies that um, can be given out at halloween and oh, I was yeah. just so surprised. I, and I, I can't remember now. Was it Skittles or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're Skittles. one of the vegan ones. Yeah. I would have, yeah. I would have been <laughs> like, absolutely sure that there was shellac or... Um, yeah, exactly. I don't know, some other, you know, thickener in Skittles. And they're yeah. vegan, so... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because with so, sweets, like gelatine as in so many of them but you'll just find the occasional over here in Australia there's these ones called Sour Patch Kids or something like that and they're just these little sour little gummy bears and no gelatine or anything so they're vegan. Amazing. So <laughs> yeah. guys if you are interested head over to the Instagram account Accidentally Vegan mm -hmm. Australia and yeah get some inspiration um because it's good to know for halloween for easter and yeah. easter egg hunts and things like that it's mm -hmm. always yeah when you've got children yeah, if you yeah. want to do it vegan. Wow. Yeah. So um, uh, I understand, okay, obviously this is not your full job. This is something you do. <laughs> yeah, you're actually a healthcare worker, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so a uh, mental amazing. health support worker. Yeah, minute, so. so we take our hats off to you, especially in <laughs> lockdown, <laughs> lockdown time. Um, how have yeah. you been, um, I understand you've been like especially busy now, 
But um, what have you been during this whole pandemic and this difficult time? I mean, you still you still need to eat. You still, you know, maybe have had some time at home to do some cooking and um, <laughs> yeah. definitely time for snacking. So, what what have been your favorite things to make, or in general, what are your favorite oh, go to gosh. vegan dishes? Yeah, well, over here in Australia now, it's like coming into winter, so it's starting to get a bit colder. <laughs> so a lot of the things we sort of seem to just make lately are like soups that are just so easy. If we just like chuck in like a can of chopped tomatoes, some veg, some dry green lentils, and literally just leave it there with some herbs and spices to just simmer for like 30, 40 minutes. And it's just so easy. And yeah, just sort of hearty like stews and chilies and things like that. We've been liking a lot lately. <laughs> yeah I love that soup recipe that sounds super easy. yeah it's so good I think it's on the um forks over knives I got it okay. on the forks over knives Facebook page yeah and it was yeah so easy so good <laughs> perfect and what's your favorite go-to snack when you're busy when you're out is it something that you oh. post on your page or is it something that you make um probably not I think like the things I post on my page a lot of the time I get comments saying like oh it's full of sugar or full of fat or something like that and like these things I think are okay in moderation but I try to yeah sort of have a mix of both like I have treats like that and then like it just like loads of different fruit or um, healthier snacks and nuts and seeds and things as well yeah that's actually one of my favorite quotes I think from um Dr Michael Greger when he oh, yeah. uh, he was talking <laughs> about um people saying that um uh, vegan food it, it, or healthy um snacks are not very always very mm. convenient and, and that's why they grab all this junk food and he's like whoever said that has obviously never met the apple <laughs> yeah true <laughs> and i yeah. i just found it so funny the way he wrote it i was like it's so true like the apple yeah the skin's already there the packaging's there you bung it in your bag you know and yeah. it's ready to eat wherever you are exactly so yeah. the <laughs> apple yeah definitely amazing <laughs> amazing <laughs> and um it, it tell us a little bit about how how you went vegan why you went vegan what inspired you yeah so i think i was only about seven when i went vegetarian so as soon as i sort of had a concept of what meat was and things i just straight away didn't want to eat it it was all about the animals for me then and then about six or seven years ago, I started looking more into the dairy side and uh, things like that and just thought, oh, I can't continue to eat dairy anymore or eggs or, and then, yeah, so it was mainly the ethical side for me, but over time, like the health aspect and the environmental as well have become really big parts of it, so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were saying the other day. I think everybody has their own personal trigger that, mm. you know, will maybe help them take the leap and say veganism. But then by the end, all the aspects become equally important. Yeah. Some people start exactly. with their health or the environment, <laughs> but then the other one will end up. And then, of course, the animals mm. and it all kind of, yeah. Wants yeah. To That's amazing. <laughs> and um, do you have any um, cooking tips for um, people who are becoming vegan or want to make more plant-based? Um, oh, or, you know, or like a favorite, you know, website that to go to and have a look. Or um, I'm not really the best cook, actually. <laughs> I definitely right. find like any of your favorite meals that are meat, they can so easily be switched to vegetarian or vegan. Like if your favorite meal is a lasagna, all you can do is just swap your meat over for plant-based mints. Or the same yeah. if it's sausages and mash, you can get veggie sausages easily now burger you can switch it to veggie burger so it's so easy today to just swap any of your meat alternative to a plant-based option that's so true that's a really good point and also guys there's really good um vegan mints now that literally come to the mm. packet and it can stay in your cupboard for ages it's a soy based it's delicious and mm. really people are n none the wiser you can bung it yeah. in exactly the same way yeah, it's delicious yeah it's a good exactly. point. Yeah, yeah, and save so much saturated fat and things as well. And it's just so easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for joining us and being part yeah. of this. Please do um, post um, your favorite snack or uh, meal, um, share it with us on, uh, on our page, Cook Vegan. And um, everyone, if you're on Instagram, you know who you should be following. 
really interesting <laughs> um, tips there on what you can buy and grab. Obviously, it's in Australia, but we've got people on this group in Australia. For those of us in Europe oh, yeah. or the States, there's also um, a stuff that's sold in both countries. So it's always good to know. And yeah. um, take care. And if you ever come to Cyprus, hope to yes. see you here. I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having right. me on. Thank you so much. Thanks. See ya. Thanks very Thanks much. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm.